This sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? Good morning, Arthur. To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great Good way to Good morning. Like your new home? Gladly! I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. <laughs> you still got that badge on, huh? Hey, boy. Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? Hey. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. OK. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. 
Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So, you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I had them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. Come on, pal. Mr. Sweet juniper and boiled Satan, you scared me. Boiled Satan? Yeah, I get that a lot. So, what's that you got there? 
You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go now. when folks follow me about. Mr. Appleseed ain't out here getting mauled by wolves. We lost two men already. What's your good for nothing, cowards? Yeah, yeah. You call yourselves lumbermen, you afraid of us few damn critters? It's a forest. What the hell do you expect? Oh, yes, yes. Maybe you're the man I need. Can't you believe these lazy lily livers refusing to work on account of a few little wolves? They've been attacking workers on the south side of the camp. We need a real man to get rid of them. What do you say? He'll be very well rewarded. All right. If you're paying, I should be able to take care of that for you. Okay, fella.
Just give me a minute, boy. From all the gunshots and howling, you got some good news for me? Yep, it's done. Whew. That's a relief, I'll tell you. Excellent work. Money's right there on the table. Don't mention it. Me and wolves go way back. If you come back in a day or so, we should have some lumber for sale again. I'm leaving. All right, you lazy hard. bastard. There ain't much danger of that with this bunch, now. my friend. The wolves are gone, so no more excuses. Win homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. 
It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Well, um, uh, need our horses? It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. Drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Boy, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. <laughs> hey, how about this then? I guarantee we paint it. Cause I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. It better be, or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here, we ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you. Not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Her den. We should leave the horses. Oh, there. All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah.
That's why. Better be rare. I really don't want to know why you're wearing all that bandage. Hey there, friend. How can I help? Pretty standard fare these days. Can't give you much for this. Done and done. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Biden's my load. You enjoy that. Was you trying to make a name for yourself or something? Bye now. Come on now, boy. I'm sure you'll be back. Hey there, to our fair city, citizens, enjoy yourselves. Visitors, amuse yourselves. We are a simple mountain town for people who believe in a better, wiser, kinder America. Welcome at the Welcome Center, yes. Welcome to Strawberry, my friends. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? All right. Head on over when you're ready.
Hey, you need someone to take over for you? Oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Good. Now relax. You'll be clean as a whistle. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. So how are things with you? Pretty good. Sorry for smell. It's been a while. Oh, you. You must get some bad men in here. In this place, I ain't surprised. Oh, you're very professional. You're too kind, really. I've had quite the run of bad luck recently. I'm so very sorry to hear that. How did a nice lady like you end up in a place like this? Oh my, you think we've gotten that close to you? Just let yourself unwind. All right, I think that should do it. You take care. Sheriff. Hello. Okay there? Only thing good about jail is the food. Remind me when I joined the social club. Anyhow. There's no problem here. Time to go, boy. Word is, he's made a home out of an old mine, up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Josh Brown would be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. And that's what we're asking for. Got half the bounty hunters in the state out looking for him. I want your advice. I'll ask for it, okay? Good luck with it.
Please, quick! You gotta get this off me! I'm going numb! <laughs> Let's get Oh God, you did it. Praise Jesus. Oh God. I gotta, gotta grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. Say to me. Thank you. Oh, uh, take something from my back. For the trouble, though, I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a take a minute now. <sighs> My leg feels like it's like it's on fire. And the thing, I almost didn't bring the trap. <sighs> hey, boy. Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Eh, uh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly. Little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No. Huh? I wish. No. I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen. If you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Legend. Well, I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. What? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. It... Yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic.
boy, hold on. Let's go, boy. We gotta show you. Got some ground to cover. Dead in. <laughs> you got nowhere to go, bounty hunter. I ain't here to kill you. <laughs> Wouldn't matter if you were. There's only one way out of here, and that's through me. Come easy. I'll say something to the law. <laughs> it ain't gonna be easy. You're gonna have to draw on me to get me out. You might have found me. But you won't beat me, bounty hunter. Shot. You didn't even have a decency to do it right. You duel a man and you ought to put him down. Not knock him out and tie him up. You got no decency, bounty hunter. Got me in my younger days. I would have put one in the middle of your eyes before you even blinked. You ain't nothing special. You ain't gonna stay sharp for very long. None of us do. Take it nap, old man. <laughs> That's Big Josh, all right. Hey! He looks heavy. Can we take that bounty off of you? I can manage him fine. Dad, you son of a bitch! 
I wish you killed me back there. A real man would have killed me. A real man wouldn't tie me like this. A real man wouldn't take me in. By the gun, let me die by it, damn it. That's what, that's what I deserve, you damn sneak. You damn gun shooter. Here we are. Strawberry. I hear the cells here are really got brown here. Ah, Mr. Brown. Come on now. Make him comfortable downstairs. Forget about me. Now, leave me to my peace. You hear? I want peace. Pay's right here. You make you work for it? He dueled me, so I'd say that's a yes. <laughs> Lucky you're still here. Honest to be. Hello, mister. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? <laughs> Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? 
Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dodge without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here, anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I seen you come full undone more than once now, and you only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. All right, this is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Easy. They should be here in a little bed. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah!
need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Hmm. Be here. Find a new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take, new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen. I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? You'd be wearing a California collar now if I hadn't broken you out of jail. And I have expressed my gratitude, have I not? It's done. Main thing now is getting this hall back in one piece. Saving bullets is such a concern of yours.
take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors on account of, well, this little mess. Go on there, that should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth it. All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow. Tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun! Okay, fella. Yep. 
Take it easy there, boys. Menace. <laughs> you saved me, partner. Woo! I was almost a meal there.
Arthur! Look what the cat dragged in. Arthur did me right. Of course. Did they ask uh, anything about us? No. It was just uh, locals, a local problem. A fella I used to know. Okay. Well, would you please try to keep away from old people while we're getting this much attention? I understand, boss. And I'm sorry for being foolish. It was an old thing, and my emotions got the better of me. <sighs> What time is Thank it? you. Dutch? Hi. You boys are my family now. Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pierce. Thank you. This should be some real good eating. Good job, Mr. Morgan. 